All right, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. As you can see, this is a different type of video because we're not in the world of Fortnite anymore. We are actually in real life now, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna be doing a setup tour today. You guys will be able to see what I actually play on and game on and stream on and everything. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. So the first thing, as you can see right here, we have this Pac-Man and we have this ghost thing. And that, these are actually two things that I ended up getting for Christmas, just this little like Pac-Man thing. And it's supposed to be like a stress ball, so whenever I die in Fortnite, you know, I can just like throw this out a wall or just like squeeze it and make Pac-Man like turn into a pancake or something. All right, the second thing that we actually have is this Rubik's Cube. This is a pretty cool thing, but we'll just keep that on my desk. And those are pretty much all of like the knick-knack things that I have. Now for spec wise, I'm going to put like the prices and there's gonna be the links down below in the description if you wanna get something that I have or if you don't, it's up to you. But anyways, all right, so the first thing that we actually have is this Dell speaker. These Dell speakers are like around $40. They're just speakers that I have in case if I ever want to like, like, I don't know, play music and I have a friend over or family in, in my room and I wanna show them a video or something. There's speakers that can come in handy for that. Otherwise, I don't really use them for much. I always use my headphones, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now, moving on to some other things. So here is my headset, actually. Now for this headset, this is a HyperX Cloud. I think it's the second one. I'm not too sure. Like I said, all the links and stuff are going to be down in the description. But yeah, so this is a pretty good headset for quality wise. Like definitely the music and everything is pretty good. And I think the microphone, it's not going to be as good as like this microphone that I have on this stand right here. But it's a good starter microphone. It's not that bad. The only problem that I really have with this headset is it's supposed to be like comfortable. And I think for some people it is comfortable but for me it kind of hurts my head after gaming on it for more than like four or five hours so that's actually where these come into play these apple earbuds which i'm pretty sure a ton of you guys have but sometimes i'll just literally just wear those apple earbuds in case if i don't want my head hurting all right moving on to the second thing we actually have this mic here this is the blue yeti mic and i've had this thing for almost about like four years five years going on now and it is pretty good a lot of people say that this microphone has pretty good quality you guys have told me that in the comments and stuff and we have it attached to this uh, scissor arm stand and now this scissor arm stand I would honestly not really recommend it that much because I feel like it's a cheaper arm stand and there's a lot more better ones out there but honestly I just wanted an arm stand to hold up this Yeti mic and there's actually a lot of them that I couldn't find that did so I found this one there was one I think that was like a lot more expensive which if you're looking to get a good quality arm stand don't buy this one save your money and buy something better but you know it gets the job done and one main reason why I actually haven't upgraded this arm stand is because I don't want to keep this mic forever this microphone is a USB powered mic and if you don't know XLR mics if you have that plugged into an amp your voice will sound a lot more crispier and better and I'm planning to get an XLR mic specifically an AT2035 in case if you're wondering but for right now I just use this Blue Yeti mic and actually we're recording our audio off of it right now just because this Logitech Brio that I'm recording on doesn't have the greatest microphone attached to it. All right, now on to the next thing. We have these glasses here, these gamma ray glasses. Now these things are really good to block like blue light from your screen. You won't be able to see the blue light, but these glasses are really good in preventing eye strain, headaches, and blurry vision as well, which is why I wear them. And whenever I do face cam, you guys will see me probably wearing these a lot whenever I stream for long periods of time but if I'm just like recording for a little bit while I don't normally wear glasses so you won't even see me with glasses but yeah these are just computer glasses I wear at the computer just so my eyes don't really get strained and my vision doesn't get blurry moving on to the next thing here we have the ducky one to mini keyboard we have a whole bunch of different keys and stuff you guys have seen this keyboard plenty of times in keyboard camps we have like different color switches that came with it which makes it look pretty cool you can change the colors of it it's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you that with one hand because I'm recording with the other one right now but yeah it's a pretty cool keyboard I like it a lot that's a 60% keyboard I've gotten so many questions of people asking me why I have this keyboard but it's just like compact I like smaller keyboards basically moving on to the next thing I have a Logitech G4 
403, I believe it is. Yeah, as you can see right there, it's a Logitech G403, and this is a mouse that I've been using for quite some time. I actually ended up getting a Logitech mouse that was wireless. I think it was the G305, if I'm not mistaken, but it kind of had like a smaller hand fit to it, and I don't know, it just didn't really fit my hand well. Eventually, I want to get the Logitech G Pro wireless because it looks like a mouse that would be wireless and would fit in my hand fine, but still saving up for that. So this mouse does for me right now. And as you can see, this thing holding it is called a mouse bungee thing. And you can like move this thing up and down. And basically what this thing does, it holds your mouse cable, as you can see right there. And it basically just makes it to where, you know, you don't have to worry about mouse cables getting in the way. You don't have to worry about like the cable at the end of the desk interfering with like the tension on your mouse cord and stuff. So I definitely recommend this. People even say that this makes your mouse kind of feel wireless and I would have to somewhat agree with that but yeah so that can come in handy for that and for my monitor wise now so this monitor that is mainly in the screen is a BenQ monitor and it is 144 Hertz and it's pretty cool because I can actually tilt the screen vertical as well I'm not going to do that because once again it's kind of hard to do with it with one hand in case if you're wondering to go from 60 Hertz to 144 Hertz definitely do this because this monitor was like a hundred percent worth it and then this monitor as you can see over here it is recording my screen as you can see it looks like a little like screen effect in there and for some reason this program it says that I'll drop frames every few seconds but I don't think I'm really dropping frames I think it's just Logitech capture but this monitor actually I had two of these monitors at first and this is a 60 hertz monitor and it's not really that good because I think it has an eight millisecond response time as well. But I played on this for like two to three years and then I finally decided to upgrade to 144 hertz. Now eventually I want to change this monitor into 144 hertz one as well. But like I said, still saving up for that. And mainly this monitor over here will be for like stream chat or I'll have like recording up on here and then I'll game on this monitor, obviously since it's 144 hertz, but they both come in handy having two monitors in case if you're like a youtuber or streaming yourself having two monitors is very beneficial now as for my mouse pad you can see that this thing is like extended all across here and i used to play on a smaller mouse pad but this is a corsair mouse pad as you can see right there and this thing actually is really useful because one main reason why I got this uh, Corsair mouse pad was because my keyboard would always slide across my desk and I would always hate that so much. So we ended up getting this Corsair mouse pad and now I can prevent my keyboard from sliding and then I also have room for my mouse right there. All right, now over here, we just have some snacks. You know, when you're a gamer, sometimes you get hungry. We got the Kit Kat, we got some Kisses and we got some Hershey's. Yes, I know it's all bad for you, but don't judge me. And then as for this thing, Actually, this is an Xbox controller that I play on. Now, I know it's not an elite controller. It's not anything like too fancy or anything, but this I actually literally just went to Walmart probably about a few months ago just because I wanted to play Fortnite on a controller. And this thing was like only 30 bucks. So I just grabbed whatever like wired controller just to try out like Fortnite with a controller. And it obviously isn't that great, but it's not that bad, I don't think, for its price either. Mainly because it has these features on the back as well. Like you can see that we have like these little buttons um, they're kind of like noisy a little bit so they do make some noise but there's these trigger things if it will focus there's these trigger things on the side as well and it like basically makes the uh, controller only have to click halfway instead if you were to turn it off then it you would have to click it down all the way I think they're called like trigger locks or something but that's actually pretty useful for this controller I think the elite controllers even come with that feature too. One of the last two things that we have is the PC, but I'm going to show you my desk really quick. Now this is my desk. As you can see, it is a pretty long desk and it keeps all of my stuff together. So literally when I had gotten this desk, I was so thankful for it because I used to play on a laptop, which I would also call a lag top because it was just crazy laggy. But then I also used to play on a dresser. So I could never have like any room underneath here to put my feet and legs at. And bro, it was just, oh my goodness, it was a nightmare. But yeah, now I have this desk. It's an extended desk. So if you check out the link in the description for this desk, there will be three different sizes that you can get. And there's also like different type of material that you can get for it as well I think I got the teak and black legs as you can see like for the stands and stuff over here but I got the extended version just because I wanted plenty of room to have on my desk and as you can see I could even like 
move this monitor over a little bit and then move this one over or even if I was to change this monitor to a 144 Hertz monitor similar to this I could like tilt the screen and then have a whole bunch more room so that's one thing I really like about this whole entire desk setup it's all good and everything but one of the very last things that we have for this setup ladies and gentlemen is this PC now this is an MZXT streaming PC in case if you're wondering and this PC is actually really good it has a 2070 graphics card in it. it has a Ryzen 2700X I believe for the processor 16 gigabytes of RAM as you can see it's RGB colored in there but one thing I haven't done ever since I got this PC is take off the little like sticky film off of it and a lot of people like watching that so we're about to do that so if we do this with one hand all right we do this little by little you can see the film is finally coming off of the computer after all this time it's been waiting but yes that is it ladies and gentlemen so we saved it all this time to finally come off and then there we go look at the pc now it just looks amazing you got the graphics card you got the rgb all the colors and everything and it just looks really cool but i mean yeah that's pretty much what i game on and whenever i go to record oh yeah and for gaming chair wise i literally just have this like black office chair it's nothing too fancy i actually used to have a gaming chair before but i really didn't like it kind of like hurt my back and stuff so i just have this like little chair right now i think i'm eventually gonna get another gaming chair but it's gonna be a more perfect professional one but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for my setup I know it kind of looks messy right now normally whenever it's a clean setup I already have my headphones on my glasses are on so that's not taking up any space on the desk I have my keyboard and mouse that's normally what I'm playing with normally I have my earbuds in and then I'll set my HyperX clouds to the side somewhere I won't usually have this controller on here I've just been playing like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order with it but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the setup there's a person that actually Actually mentioned about having like a yearly setup update or something like that every two years or something and it's honestly a pretty cool idea because if I would have done that initially then you guys would have definitely seen a lot changed like I used to only game on one monitor it was like that exact monitor and then I didn't even have a second monitor like I said I didn't have this desk I had a crappy keyboard crappy mouse and I actually used like a $10 plastic microphone that came with a capture card that I had bought and so started little by little as you save up your money over time, you can get things that you want to get and get a fancy setup like this. Well, even still, I still have a lot of stuff that I still want to get. And there's plenty of people that have far better setups than me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on this video. And let me know if you want some more like IRL content like this. Drop ideas down below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.